I bow to pure soul within you, everybody. Jai Satchidanan. Jai Satchidanan. This is a spiritual science of Dada Bhagwan, to whom we say Dada Bhagwan is a enlightened person. He got uh, self realization in 1958. And Dada Bhagwan, he says that inside enlightened soul is a Dada Bhagwan. And I know. I experience that soul, so I am knower or say jnani, I am an ex- experienced person of soul. So physical body is totally separate from him, he remains all the time separate from mind, speech and body. And he got uh, this knowledge, this is uh, spiritual science, this is uh, not a religion, or uh, not any rituals we have to do over here. This is pure understanding, but understanding towards reality, absolutism. This is uh, not a new religion, or this is uh, not uh, we are worshipping some god. We have to change our religion, and we have to worship new god. He says this is not uh, such a sect, so it's not such, not a, such a religion, but this is nothing but spiritual science. And just like uh, in in our uh, uh, worldly things, the physical science is there. Suppose uh, we want to make water, dirty water to clean. So we are using some filter, one or two or three types, four types and make pure, clean for drinking level. So we are purifying water, but still we cannot know or we cannot get hydrogen or oxygen from water. But some scientist is there, he will say this is water, but really it is made up of hydrogen and oxygen, two element. So here worldly things we are Observing, we are, we don't know why we have to suffer worries, stress, tensions, some insult feeling, some greed, ego. Be- because of these things or worldly relations, husband, wife, children, parents. So this relation, why this occurs? This is also combination of element only. But spiritual scientist can see, can know and can separate these elements. Without knowing what are the eternal elements, we are just knowing this, this is dirty water, we want to make clean, we are for drinking purpose. But, But physical science says that if a dirty water is there, if you analyze by chemical taste and if you separate two element from dirty water hydrogen or oxygen they are dirty or remain pure what you will say they remain pure just like dirty water has both element remain pure condition very similarly in this worldly phases Pure soul and matter, our body is made up of two eternal elements. And in that eternal element, we don't know about what is eternal element, what is matter, physical element. Still, our worldly relation or work or worldly physical, everything, actions, everything is going on. But due to ignorance, we are feeling worries, stress, due to divorship, we are having sufferings, so many types of sufferings, then attachment, hatred, anger, pride, deceit, greed. So we always want to come out from all these enemies like anger, pride, deceit, greed, attachment, hatred. We don't like that, but we don't know how to come out from that enemies. When some spiritual scientist, if we realize 
this eternal element and we remain in the stage of eternal element, then automatically this anger, pride, deceit, everything, attachment, hatred, automatically they will go away. Just like a total impure water, but if we do chemical analysis, hydrogen and oxygen, they remain pure state. Very similarly, pure soul within us is always pure, but we don't know about that soul. And in this uh, world, there are so many religions, so many sects in that religions, and every religion, they are saying, we have to do something to get happiness. We have to do something for concentration. We have to do something for worshipping God. We want to merge with God or we want to follow the God. We want to reach to the God. But how, we don't know. There are so many paths in this world. And sometimes, this is also one of the path to reach to the God or say reach to the soul. There are so many paths in this world, but in that path we have to worship whatever God we are believing. We have to worship something, we have to chant mantra, we have to do some uh, name of that God, we have to chant that name or we have to do some meditation or some yoga or some, we have to leave something we have to adopt something, we have bad things, we have to leave, we have to adopt good things and slowly, slowly our goal is to reach absolute God. There are sometimes when spiritual scientist is there, there is a very easy way to separate element from dirty water. That physical scientist can do that two elements separate here is the spiritual scientist can separate pure soul and other element in this body by spiritual knowledge, spiritual science. And once we achieve that experience of who am I, what is pure soul, where is God, how to realize God, and by spiritual science we can reach to that stage, where is God and how to worship real God and how to merge with real God. So, this is uh, not any religion, but this is also spiritual science. And in that, very fundamental things, we want, we must know in this world, who am I? And who is the doer behind all this happening? Because sometimes we are believing the God is creator of this world, God is doing so and so. But we have so many doubts, why? Tsunami, earthquake, world war, this terrorism, why this happening in this world? So many people has worries, stress, so many disease in body. Why this is happening in this world? We are believing that God is doer, but again question is arise, why God is doing so and so? We don't, we don't get any correct answer. That's why we are always having incomplete solution and that gives us some suffocation or stress or sufferings. So we want to come out from all this suffering and suffocation. We must know what is reality in this world, how this happening in this world, what is eternal element, how to know, how to experience all this eternal element. And Dada Bhagwan, he is in search of that things. Who is the God? Where is God? What God is doing? How to experience that God? Who is governing this world? What is karma? How it is getting charged? How we can stop karma and get salvation? Everything he was thinking for childhood of this life. And he says, so many life, from so many life I am thinking for what is reality? Why in this world? What is correct things? What is real things? And how to achieve that real things? Lord Krishna, Lord Mahavir, Lord Ram, Lord Shiva, they achieved something 
beyond our intellect, beyond our ego, beyond our worldly people can reach that things. That's why we are praying as a them as a God. So, who is the real God and what He has achieved thing? And Nada Bhagwan, He is also searching for that. What is universal truth? He got self-realization 1958. What is universal truth? And He got this experience of pure soul as well as, as, well as all eternal element of this world. How karma is getting charged, how to stop karma, how to get ultimate liberation, everything he got realization in 1958. And from him I got this knowledge in 1971, age of 17 only. I was studying engineering in India, Bombay. But after getting this knowledge, I feel inner happiness. Then I finished my engineering four years, then I started job for three, four years then started business and it re one, two, three business I was running. Still, at the inner side, I can remain in awareness of pure soul and I have no stress, no worries, no suffering of these worldly problems. So, after getting this knowledge, we feel all the time inner happiness and that is our goal of life. And if we reach to that stage, that is our goal of life. How can we reach to that stage? So, in this worldly religions, they are trying to explain us or giving some way or they are showing some, uh, to do something to get inner happiness or permanent happiness. And we are always trying to do something to get inner he happiness or peace. Here also same thing, but here we are not showing you to do anything, but this is pure understanding path. To understand what is real, what is relative, how to, how to solve our worldly problems with understanding only. And once you get proper understanding, if you solve your worldly problems, automatically you feel inner happiness. So this is special session kept for all these Westerners. So we will do question and answer so you can have more understanding how to come out from this worldly problem and how to achieve our real goal of life. So we will do some question and answer and, and then you want to ask any question you can ask or about the spiritual science? Thanks uh, for being here and sharing. Um, the first part, uh, I uh, <clears throat> my experience of uh, inner happiness is uh, always fluttering, like you were saying. So. Um, Back to uh, your original question, what is permanent, what is temporary? It seems to me uh, everything is evolving, so, so nothing is permanent except for that constant ev evolution. So you pull happiness from your soul, and what is your definition of happiness, and is your idea or experience of it always evolving? Is, is your realization of soul evolving and do you experience realization of your soul or are you coming directly from soul just being soul see everything is changing that matter we will clear first see there is a eternal element in this world an eternal element to whom we can say this is eternal element eternal element its mass is a, it is matter remain constant. Its property are permanent and constant. But phases of eternal element are temporary. It is ever changing. So one thing it is eternal element, it is property are eternal, permanent, everlasting, 
is mass or matter remain constant, it is permanent and everlasting. But the phases of matter are temporary. Just like a gold, it is permanent. But earring or bangle or uh, uh, this is a, they everything are temporary. Ornaments are temporary. So, but gold is permanent. The qualities of the gold are permanent. But phases of gold are temporary. So now, soul is permanent. Phases of soul are temporary. And in temporary, we are believing that this temporary will thing will give me permanent happiness. That is our wrong belief. See, it's just like a gold is, suppose living gold is living. So gold will think that, I am now Bengal, I am now Bengal, they will make me ring and I will be happy. So, but really, ring is also temporary, Bengal is also temporary. Then ring will think, they will make me a necklace, I will be happy, that is also temporary. But really, when you realize you are really gold, in Bengal and ring and earring, these are the temporary phases. You are really gold and you are, your own property is happiness. When gold know that I am really gold and I have property of happiness, then he becomes happy. But when he believes that I am necklace or I am ring and I am Bengal, he never become happy because this form is going to change. Just like you are believing that I am human, she is a, a woman, I am man, this is my children, this is my wife, this is my brother, this is my friend. But these are the phases of element. And if you believe that I will get some happiness from these phases, you never get permanent happiness from phases. Because phases are temporary, it's going to change, ever, never uh, permanent. And your property, your own matter, is permanent. When you realize, oh, I'm really soul, and these are relations, are the phases, then you will get permanent happiness. You understood? Yes. And then how do you pull happiness from your soul? Yeah, it doesn't require. If you stop taking happiness from relative things, you will automatically get happiness from real thing. Because this is our mistake. We are we are borrowing, borrowing mis happiness from other temporary things. Because your soul is full of bliss, full of soul is full of infinite happiness. It doesn't require happiness. In, in the present, suppose there is a big block of ice over here. So we should, we should get coolness from ice or if we remain in the near to ice, we will get coolness. If you go far away, then you will not get any happiness, uh, coolness from ice. If you come towards near, near, near to the ice, you will feel happiness, you will feel coolness. Just like if you say, I am man, what is your name? Brendan. So if you say, I am Brendan, so you are away from ice, you feel hotness. And you say, I am pure soul, you are coming towards soul. So your soul is full of bliss, you will feel automatically full of happiness. So experience, we should, we, it is not required to get happiness from soul. We should leave happiness from worldly things. We should not take happiness from worldly things. And we should come towards soul, we should come nearer soul. We should reach to stage of soul. Automatically we will feel happiness. Is that what the, the grace of non uh, is bringing us to? That realize? Yeah, exactly. We, when in non ceremony, we are we are bringing you from all worldly things and bringing you in the stage of pure soul, and automatically you will start feeling happiness. But one thing, what happened? We have uh, taken so many loan from so many things. We have to repay the things. That is our. Uh, fault, we have to finish that fault. And once we are not going to take loan from other things and we will finish all debit, then we remain permanent, we stage of permanent happiness. Understood? Yes, uh, and I'm an accountant and I see the debits and credits and <laughs> but <laughs> the, the repaying the, the, the debts, uh, I just don't, I guess 
repaying all this in this one lifetime, that's a, a huge general entry. <laughs> you know, so good, huh? many, many pages for me with all the lifetimes. Mm -hmm. So um, this grace is, in a sense, burns that karma. If you make friendship with rich people, then uh, it is automatically fulfilled. <laughs> Dada Bhagwani friendship karwani, the richest person in the world. Okay. So you will get you. grace of Dada Bhagwan to finish your all debts. So many people are they are now debt is finished. So they feel happiness all the time. Roshanna Ele. Um, at the very beginning of my journey, about four and a half years ago, right after my mother passed away, I was looking for answers. And I um, was very gravitated to spiritual um, books. And about a week after I started investigating it, I had this incredible holy instant of having the veil of separation removed. And it was incredible. It was five days of um, heaven on earth. There was, um, I have three kids and my husband and nobody could push any buttons. There were no buttons to push. It was um, peace and incredible unconditional love like I had never experienced. And um, it lasted five days. It was um, something that I've been trying to to it, my whole quest is to get back to that space once again and actually be able to move within it and outside of it with full ability and I, I've been trying to capture that experience again even remotely and I can't seem to do it and I've I meditate every day and I I read you know at least two three four hours I really set up aside time for myself to really um, find that space again, and I cannot seem to do it. So, I'd love some advice. Yeah. Thank you. See, sometimes what happened, some due to scientific circumstantial evidence, some uh, atoms get settled, you feel inner happiness. Just like a cloudy uh, atmosphere was, is there, and some due to some air rush or some wind, automatically some cloud may dis, uh, dis, uh, disperse and sun ray if you feel just like sometimes this is happening our some coverings are breaking away and we feel inner happiness but after that again cloud will come your happiness will total under cover stage it may happen but one thing I will explain you this happiness is not our goal. It is goal, but it, it may not come. But we must know real knowledge. So why this covering is coming? If we remove all coverings due to our fault, these coverings are coming. Layers on soul, they are coming due to faults, wrong understanding. If we remove, remove wrong understanding totally, then in future there will not be any new covering and your happiness remain constant and permanent. So, see, we, what we feel, we, we want, I want some happiness. Let the covering is there, but this covering will total uh, cover all happiness. So we want, we should remove all these coverings and then, then that stage will come again. That what you experience five day, the stage will come again and it will remain forever. Excellent, thank you. Stoet Peter. Your question? I have heard that the Christian priest close to this. I've heard that Christian priest close the third eye uh, through a baptism 
and I wanted to know uh, how to open it again, it again. How to open the third, third eye, eye again? Agnes Shaka. Third eye. Yeah. <coughs> Is so, it true so that they do that? But uh, uh, see, there are two eyes. This is. And beyond that, there is a third eye. You can visualize inner thing, permanent thing. By these eyes, we can visualize our the temporary things. And by inner eyes, we can visualize permanent things, but permanent eternal elements. And that can be possible. Here, you will get that understanding of inner vision. He says, my name is Peter. So just, uh, we had some conversation. So who am I? If you find out, and if you keep that awareness, the same thing you can visualize, oh, I am not Peter, I am pure soul. And soul is permanent, and it is in every body, every living creature. And that is, by third eye you can visualize. With this eye you cannot visualize the pure soul. So, we have to open that third eye. And here you will get the same knowledge of pure soul. Suppose if you say, this is my body, then honor and body must be separate. Because belonging and honor must be separate. So what about your mind? What you will say, this is my mind or I am mind? You never say I am mind. So my mind, so again my, you have to separate I and my. My mind, my thoughts, my intellect, ego comes in I or ego comes in my. Which division, which department? In my department. So you are separate from egoism also. Then my body, my speech, my wife, my children, my business, my job, my property, everything in is my department. So what comes in I? Separate I and my. What comes in I? What comes in my? All these relative are temporary adjustment. And I is real, it is permanent. So we have to separate both the things, I and my. Then I is self and it is called as a self-realization. You want to realize, suppose there is a ornament, gold, but it is never become, uh, never remain pure gold. It is mixture of gold, silver, copper, everything. So if you want to separate gold from other element, what you are going to do? What is procedure? I have to make it clearer and clearer. Pur purify. But you are going to do or you will just surrender to goldsmith. Mm -hmm. Because he knows the property of gold, property of other element, how to separate. He has experiment, he has some chemicals. Lemon doesn't do that things. Like here, when we want to realize ourselves, Self-realized person, with the help of that person, we can get realization of pure soul. Same thing is possible over here also. And when you realize your pure soul, then you can visualize pure soul within everybody. That is third eye vision. My life has been about um, finding God, finding God realization, searching for that oneness where I'm no longer me, you know, 
And so my first understanding is that there is a separation from the divine, which is where the suffering comes. And so that there are two, there's me separate from the divine and that, and that is not oneness. And then now I understand there's another separation. So there's the second separation, whereas I separate from <laughs> that which I think I am. And to become, I, I want you to clarify, clarify this for me if you could. So it's separation, then separation again to come back to oneness. Is that right? Yeah, it is correct. What's your name? Sh Shaba. Shaba. It's just my name. Yeah, my <laughs> name. Your name is Shaba. Yeah, it's the body's name. Body's name. <laughs> then who are you? Right. You say my body's name is given Shaba. So who is the owner of this body, this name? That's the divine. That's, that's that divine piece of, that's the piece that is the divine that has come forth in this body. <coughs> so that is divine peace. Here is the name given to the body. Who are you to say this is divine peace and this name given to the body? Who are you to say this everything? You, you mean the awareness of who I am? Yeah, that is required. <laughs> because we, we, we just, we have some words. There is some divine power inside that is a full of bliss. It's a body, it is temporary. But we don't know exactly who am I and how to realize ourselves. What are the property of ourselves? How it is separated from this body? What is function inside this body? What you are doing inside this body? What you are doing? Inside. Looking for God. <laughs> hmm? I'm looking for God. Looking oh. for oneness. Going, trying to, trying. Notice I'm efforting. <clears throat> there's an effort. There's action involved in, in wanting to go back to God. To have that full, functional God realization. What, what's the function of God? What God is doing? What is the true address of God? You want to reach some place where the God is available. You must know the true address of God. No, suppose you want to come to this place. You must have address, directions. So what is the address of God? <laughs> My heart. Your heart. Where the attacks are coming. Heart attack, surgery is <laughs> taking place. <laughs> It's pumping machine. Heart is nothing but a pumping machine of blood. But it's not the center of me or the center of what I have manifest, this physical form. Is that not God? That is, if you know it is correct, then you must get result. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so so is, is self realization then God yeah. realization? So the, self. Absolute I is a God. True address of God is in every creature, whether visible or invisible, not in creation. This is main bed creation, sofa, table, camera, light. There is no God inside. But living creatures, one sense, two sense, animals, birds, plantations, trees, and human being. There is a body and inside there is a pure soul. Your soul is a God, but when it is in absolute stage, now the soul inside you, within everybody, but it is totally covered. So we can't experience our soul. So we have to break that all coverings. Then you will start experiencing pure soul. So that is first stage. Then all coverings goes away and you reach to absolute stage, then it is a God only. So science to get a realization of soul, who am I? How I am separate from this mind, speech and body. And Dada Bhagwan, he has got this realization in 1958. He want to know about this, what is universal truth? 
who is governing this whole universe where is god what's the function of god how to realize god what is true address of god but in 1958 but naturally he got realization of everything and this is called as akram vigyan stepless science to get realization of soul there is two path one is step by step step by step yeah you have to do meditation you have to do some chanting mm-hmm. mantra worshiping god oh, yes. slow by slowly you will to start this uh, you have to do something mm-hmm. to get realization of soul and there is another path bypassing everything to get directly realization of soul like elevator you want to reach to 12th floor you have to go by step by step or by elevator this is like elevator mm-hmm. path so in step by step you have to remove all this anger greed lust pride slowly 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 is confusion one of the things that drops <laughs> it goes away confusion about this path my path to god is there there's so, it seems like i get confused on my path to the divi- yeah, divine to, uh, to self realization yeah because uh, you don't have a proper guide and guidance now i do now you got it <laughs> so there is no confusion and you will get proper guidance and we, you will reach to your destination of pure soul thank you because the uh, easiest way to uh, for self realization who has realized a lantern person he can enlighten your pure soul easiest way suppose you want to study some suppose there is a kid say for 3 years we want to learn something a b c d 1 2 3 <laughs> he can't learn himself if you give pencil some notebooks he can't try. so he will just make lines but he don't know this is one this is two somebody must realize him this is one this is two so here is a teacher is required like here self realized person is required so the grace of that self realized person he will also get realization of pure soul once you achieve that thing then there will not be any confusion no doubts here is the how to know who am i in this body so dada bhagwan has given very basic philosophy <coughs> suppose if you say this is my watch so watch and honor must be separate if you say this is my specs so honor and spec must be separate so what about your body what you will say this is my body or i am body what you will say avinash <laughs> oh, no bo- this is body i am body my name is avinash and i you say i am avinash is there contradiction between two sentences yeah there's no when i said i am avinash is an identification there is an identification <coughs> my body is avinash yeah the name so, given to the body for identification after yeah, birth yeah for, uh, for, for practical purpose i can say i am avinash to be practical but i know that inside of me that i'm not avinash hmm so yeah. now we want to reach to real path in in worldly language it is different thing we want yeah. to know about real language yeah. who am i to how to separate ourselves from all these relative parts So, so suppose if you say my name is avinash so you are honor of the name just name given to the shop honor and name name plate of the shop must be separate no yeah you got it <clears throat> yeah for a long time i've understood and again this is more of a conception than in what i'm learning from you is a much higher experience that i am not this body that the mind is something that is a tool and a gift that can be used in any number of ways and it can also be very um obstinate and 
controlling. <laughs> and that the ego is not me, that it's also something that I have. It's a survival mechanism. And, but at the same time, this is what, what, this is my baggage. This is what I carry around with me. And to um, walk uphill carrying all that baggage, it seems like a very slow way to go. And, and also the techniques, the meditations, the kriyas, all of that is, are other forms of baggage. And so the idea from, in my world of moving to realization, self-realization, isn't just for me. I don't want this just for me. I want to be able to um, have that an overflow where it will do something good and for other people and for the world. And that, that maybe sound egotistical or I don't know, maybe that's more baggage that I'm carrying too. But um, if God realization is self-realization, then I'd say I've, the grace is flowing for me now. Thank you. Yeah, God realization is a self-realization. What I am doing is the same thing. First, I remove my all bondages. Then I am helping everybody to remove their bondages. But first, first, uh, suppose you are in worry, you are suffering, you are under stress, then how can you help other people? First, you must get lease, you must get, get independence, you must get freedom within. Then only you can help others. You are bounded with anger, greed, lust, pride, ego. Then how can you help other people? So we are, see all worldly things are not really bonding us. But the anger, greed, ego, they are bonding us. And due to ignorance of self, we by word, we are knowing oh soul inside, this is bondage, this is baggage. I am soul, or I want to realize soul. But only by word we are knowing, not by experience. And here you will get experience. But it's a very beginning stage. Just you want to become, say, doctor. So we are giving admission in college of doctor. But once you got admission, it is not you, not, you are not become a doctor. You have to learn, you have to uh, study every year, you have to go at least 300 days per year, per year <laughs> in college. <laughs> Here we will say 300 hours per year, hours, not days. 300 hours per annum you have to come in this college. <laughs> then you will be graduate within, <laughs> say, at least three, four years. <laughs> But we have to, you have to be in touch with us because this is given knowledge by grace of Dada Bhagwan. So you have to, there are so many confusions, we are believing, believing so many things. So each and every wrong belief should be get fractured and get correct right belief. So whenever you come in a touch with us, you are, you may ask some questions, your doubts are getting clear, then your experience will be more and more Awareness is more and more about pure soul. <clears throat> Again, coming to the uh, same thing, how to set, how to know who am I in this body? So, what are the? See, just we are knowing. I am not body. I am not mind. I am not ego. But exactly, we want to separate all the things. How to separate? So now we are discussing theoretical. Suppose you say this is my body, so honor and body must be separate. So wherever you put word my, all belongings must be separate from honor. So we want to separate ourselves from all these belongings. So what are the belongings? My body, my speech, my thoughts, my intellect, my ego. Then what about wife, wife coming, I or my? Yeah, same, thing. same thing means in I or my. Yeah. It comes in my department, my husband, my wife, my children, my business, my job, my hobby, mm -hmm. my ability, 
my meditation, my worshiping, everything is my department. What comes in I? <laughs> my knowledge is also my department. The absolute I without my is pure soul. Mm. Now it is a mixture of I and my. Just in ornament, there is a mixture of gold, silver, copper. If you want to separate gold from other element, what to do? What is procedure? It's an alchemical process. Hmm? What? You have to go through an alchemical process. To a separate. chemical process. Yeah. But you are doing or somebody else is doing? Gold. Who is doing the process of separating? You yourself can do? Just no. Oh, that? you will go to goldsmith. He know the property of gold, he know the property of other element. Mm -hmm. He has experiment how to separate gold from other element. Mm -hmm. And you will just surrender that your gold to ornament to goldsmith. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he has experiment, he has experiment to separation of gold and other element. He has chemicals, he has all procedures, everything. It's because he know the property of gold and other element. Like here, we required self-realized person. He know the property of soul, property of other element, how to separate both the element. And Dada Bhagwan, he has realized his soul, and he has given same experiment to separate Avinas and yourself. So we are conducting that same Nyan ceremony tomorrow. Yes. <coughs> I have one more question. Uh, can this awareness be maintained throughout, uh, I'm sure, throughout life? What about in the moment of death, that we, in the moment that we feel like we're living the body? Can this awareness be present also? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. More, more than more what even we are now. experiencing now. No. Mm -hmm. It's after Gnan Vidhi, Gnan mm -hmm. ceremony. Mm -hmm. At the time of that, more and more awareness will be there. Mm -hmm. You can remain fully separate from all this body, mm -hmm. all these sufferings. And, and you, guidance and you can experience, oh, I am immortal and body is dying. I am not dying at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And this is called Samadhi Marana. Samadhi Marana. Once you achieve that Samadhi Marana, then there will not be again birth and death. Yes. Within one or two life, you will, get, you will achieve salvation. Liberation, Nirvana. Yeah. This is about, um, I guess the best way to frame this would be the difference between Advaita and this, this path with respect to how thoughts are viewed. Uh, my experience has been that thoughts come in and out of awareness. And sometimes they come charged with emotions. And that my practice, if you will, has been to try to stay separate and observe them and sometimes feel them and in the hopes that they'll, you know, go. And that not a lot of effort is made out of focusing on the content of the thoughts and, and why did I have that particular thought. And now I'm seeing in this science that through Pratikama, which I've been doing lately, uh, I'm not viewing the thoughts as just a cloud that comes and goes, but I'm looking at it as karma that I'm responsible for and I need to to do something to help dissolve that. So there's a fundamental difference between trying to be pure awareness and not worrying about the thoughts, knowing they came and they're going to go, and now um, repenting when the thoughts come. Yeah, it is main difference. And also, who is observing all these thoughts it's not pure soul. It is a subtle stage of egoism only. Because my experience, I am observing, I don't want to do it. So he's doer. So it is not, so he's doing, he's by intellect. Ego is, uh, is uh, having intellect and by intellect he's, 
he has knowledge he, whatever he has read from books or some lectures or he studied and he's trying to set that knowledge in in what happen in thoughts or wrong uh, speech or actions but he's doing doership remain as it is and that's why it is not reaching to in in the box of pure soul it remain in the box of egoism only so once you are doer it it is a with intellect only so ek one step more you have to go further so beyond intellect beyond ego then only we, you will reach to real true self you understood properly yes so as i can yeah what's your name <laughs> yeah no now it is by thinking or intellect it is intellect but his understanding is with intellect but what's, what's your name jeff yeah jeff jeff so in future means after gnan ceremony you will experience so oh, jeff is different and i am separate from jeff and whatever bad thoughts or bad speech or bad action is responsible who is responsible for that not yourself jeff is responsible and jeff will do pratikaman apology for your uh, whatever he has done mistake he will repent and for that you are separate from jeff and jeff is now you are within jeff and whatever you are saying now we will separate you from jeff and you are observer of jeff only okay <laughs> thank you yeah i have a question if you know all this and if you have the knowledge about the self and the soul uh how can you reach the self so you know you know okay i'm not klaus i'm the self i'm the soul i'm this and i'm that so you know all this intellectual but it doesn't mean that you can live and can be it immediately so you try every day hard and every day somebody is praising you you are happy somebody is ta- uh, uh, saying something negative you're not happy and you 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 immediately or maybe a little bit later you recognize oh i was falling back so you try again and you try and you try so is there some some trick where you don't have to try so hard and and you you can really stay in this please now difference is what exactly what you t- said in the beginning whatever you know is only by intellectual knowledge you are having everything but but that is intellectual knowledge not real knowledge so you know that uh, soul is there and body is separate from all these things but you know this is all informations this is information not realization there's a lot of difference between information and realization if you read any scripture or any book or you hear anything about this soul even right now whatever i said in the beginning it was all information it was not realization Reali- realization part is total different that is you get awakening of your soul that awakening is important unless and until you don't get awakening that is feeling of the separation of your my and i their mind speech and body and your true self that is soul atma pure soul so unless and until you achieve that part the problem will remain the same you know everything about soul you know all scriptures you are having everything about no uh, all knowledge about soul but if you don't have awakening realization so any problem gum- comes you become upset or any good thing happens you will happy happiness and unhappiness from the outer world will affect you all the time if you know intellectually everything about spiritualism but awakening is important where after awakening inside you don't get mood 
no change inside of course after outer world outer world world will affect you what's your name please klaus so everything is with klaus not with your so so that demarcation that awareness of separation should be there so whatever is happening good or bad is with klaus not with me cloud will have all effects but not so so first neighbor or cloud is your first neighbor you are total separate so i am pure soul i am pure soul that awareness remains with you when anything goes wrong that moment also you you have that awareness then and then only you have realized otherwise not you understand and that you you cannot get that realization by your own effort because who will do all you said the i am doing i am practicing everything but who is practicing again the one who is practicing who is that that is also ego ego is there i am doing i am meditating i am worshiping i am uh, reading spiritual books scriptures i am doing i am doing but who is that i again unless and until you get the awareness of separation of that real i and this relative i which is ego so whatever you say i do, i am doing i am doing i am doing so ego is doing ego is believing ego is always there so you once you get free freeness from freedom from ego liberation from ego ego goes away in from your real i and cloud then and then le whatever is happening is only discharge karmas and your real i that is soul will observe and know what is going on out in outer world and with class i'm somebody who's always or not always but a lot thinking in the future with my studies how will be the uh, the result of my exams um am i going to be rich in 10 years or am i going to be poor and so on and then i realized that, um, that it's not good for me so i want to know what to have to do um to be more in the present and less in the future with my with my mind the best is to remain in the presence so when when you remain in the presence you are always happy past and futures thinking always make you unhappy and you miss your beautiful pleasant present when you you are you are involved in your past or future so why at that past and future is not going to come with you you are not getting anything right out of it you are only uh, able to get in your from your present only so you think of your present do best of your present and enjoy your present if you are in present you are definitely you have enjoyment from within not external so now if you remain in soul if you remain in awareness that i am pure soul i am not this body i am not this mind that is the best way to remain your in present moment to moment and if you get involved in class uh, class class then class is going to involve in past past or present so you re- get detachment from class and remain in soul so you will always in present because you are always observing and knowing what is going on in class or what is going on in this world you are when you become observer and knower not doer not thinker nothing even thoughts whatever thoughts are going 
about past or future, you remain just observer and knower of them, then definitely you will, you will be happy inside and no effect of any sort of thought will come to you. So after this uh, ceremony, Jnana Vidhi, which is we are going to conduct tomorrow at five o'clock, that will make you to remain in your soul and present also. He was asking about the soul, how oh, no scientist has proved it. So I, I was telling him, I have read one article in USA, very, I think, very long back, 25 years or 20, 25 years, 20 years back. In America, there was an article and the heading of that article was the weight of soul, weight of soul, question mark, and then written point zero 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 one. I, I don't know how many zeros were there, but so many zeros and one ounce. It was written like that. So I read that article. So scientists, they they work in the, some hospital and they they have prepared a special um, glass room and on with bed with, in an underground there were some weighing machines very fine super fine weighing machines and the dying dying patients were kept on that bed and they were weed before death and after death. Even they have uh, detected air inside the lung, they have counted that also. And then after I think more than 200 patients they have recorded and then they came to conclusion that there is weight. But in reality soul doesn't have any weight. The weight which they could they could found is the weight of the atoms of the karmas which are surrounded, surrounding the soul, they are stuck to the soul. That the weight is because of them. But a pure soul, only soul, absolute soul, doesn't have any weight. No weight, no shape, no, it cannot be visible. but can be experienced. Separation of pure soul, I am pure soul and Nicholas. They are two elements. I am pure soul, that experience is the real soul. 